Welcome, this is Mrs. Daly with the Broward Virtual School. I teach social studies. If you are watching this presentation and you have received my welcome email, the welcome email was sent in VSA. Um, these are some of the elements from that welcome email. Uh, what is important for you to know is when your activation period is. Um, so if you're, for example, going to be activated the week of August 31st, for example, then you need to make sure you're doing these things prior to that date. Um, there are three steps that you need to take in order to get activated. The first one is to watch this presentation. The second one is to answer the 10 questions in step two. And make sure you email those back to me. And the third step is to participate in a welcome call. Okay, um, I do this welcome presentation to cut down the amount of time that I'm actually going to have you on the phone. And I'll just review a couple key elements um, on that welcome call and ask if you have any additional questions. Um, the classes that I teach are economics, U.S. government, psychology, and AP U.S. government. So again, if you're watching this, then you have signed up for one of those four classes. If you wanted to or are supposed to be taking honors, make sure that you are registered for that. Okay, um, AP students stay behind just a couple minutes. I just want to go over a couple things at the end of this presentation. Okay, just a couple basic Broward Virtual School rules that I want to make sure I emphasize. Um, we do have what's called a 21-day grace period. In 21 days, if you do not want to continue with the class, you need to make sure you let me know within those three weeks. I will withdraw you with no penalty. The same thing goes if you're not staying on pace. Okay, if you're not staying on pace and you're not doing your work consistently, again, you will also be withdrawn within those 21 days. I take my classes very seriously and I do expect you to follow your pace chart and do your assignments on time. Um, academic integrity. This is probably one of the most important things that I want you to take away today. There's absolutely no tolerance for plagiarism. Um, please do not use other students' work. Do not copy and paste from the internet. And even do not copy and paste information from the lessons themselves. If you're answering questions, you need to make sure you're putting things in your own words. If you're having difficulty with that, please reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you. Um, I can't stress the importance of um, of reading, okay? Um, with online learning, we're not there, the teachers are not there to show you or tell you, hey, this is important, make sure you write this down. Hey, this is important, make sure you read this. So it's important that you take the time to read everything, okay? Read my announcement page, read my email, follow directions, okay? Read, read, read. That's so important. Okay, um, my expectations. Now, this is another thing that I want to make sure I emphasize. Throughout this presentation, just keep in mind that every teacher is different. My expectations might be a little bit different than other teachers' expectations. I do expect you to log into the class every day. Okay, I do expect you to read everything I send you in email. I do expect you to follow your pace chart in order. And I do expect you to call for help. Um, I do have set office hours and I follow them closely. Okay, here are my office hours. They are listed on my announcement page. Okay, um, something that I want to make sure I emphasize. If you're calling outside of office hours, I am not going to answer the phone. So I want to make sure I stress this. Monday, I have office hours. Um, from 7 to 9, or I should say hours of availability, essentially. That's when I'm available. If you're calling Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm not going to be picking up the phone. So please make sure that you're working when your teachers are working. Um, a bulk of my time is during the middle of the week, and that's where most of the discussion-based assessments will also be placed. Um, and then I do have some office hours on Friday as well. Okay, if you notice that I do not have any weekend hours, and I um, ask that you be um, considerate of that, and again, try to work when your teachers are working. If there are other teachers that have office hours during the weekend, then do those classes during the weekend, okay? And, you know, make sure you're not waiting until Saturday or Sunday to do your work, okay? Um, okay, so very important if you call back, um, if you call, excuse me, and I don't answer, um, please make sure you leave a message. Don't call back like five million times. Um, I will call you back as soon as I have the opportunity. Work and organization, okay? Make sure that you um, are submitting only three times. Make sure you put a one, two, or three at the end of the title. Um, 
if your work is late, so in other words, if you didn't do your work for the week and I have to grade it like the following week because you're turning it in late, I will be taking 10% off of your assignment. Okay, there's no exceptions. So please make sure you stay on pace. Exams, you can only take one time. And this also goes with quizzes. Okay, <clears throat> do not ask to have quizzes reset or exams reset. Please make sure that you study and you're prepared to take them when they are due. You can resubmit for a better grade only if you did not get an A. So if you get a 90 out of 100, do not res resubmit an assignment. Okay, also about resubmissions, once you move into a mo new module and you have a zero for something, if you're work DBA and module exams are the exception. But if you're working in module four and you had gotten a zero because you didn't, um, work on pace on time back in module one, that zero is staying a zero. You can no longer make that up. Once we get towards the end of the semester, I stop taking all late work. I will send an email about that and say, okay, you know, I'm not going to take late work after this date, okay? Um, and I will email you about that when that time gets closer. Saving work, please make sure you're saving it PDF, DOC, or PowerPoint, not RTF or pages. Okay, I can't open those. And please make sure you're taking all pretests. Okay, do not skip the pretests. They don't really hurt your grade um, and they don't really help your grade, to be honest with you, but it is extremely important for the success of the class and for the success of your learning. Okay, this is what my announcement page looks like. Um, I will have information um, posted here. You know, you'll notice my hours of availability to the right and also my DBA hours, okay? My DBA hours will be um, posted every Sunday night or Monday morning for that week. I do change them every week. Um, if you're gonna schedule a DBA, please make sure that you do it up here, okay? This is where you're gonna be scheduling a DBA at the top of my announcement page. And I'll get back to DBAs in just a second. Um, my pace chart. When you're about to get activated in the class, so let's say you're getting activated, just for example, Monday, August 31st. Okay, I will send a pace chart to you either Sunday night or first thing Monday morning. Okay, the pace chart is like your schedule for the class. Um, I do expect you to follow it closely. The due date is when the assignments are due, not when you are supposed to do them, as in D-O. It's due, D-U-E. So make sure that you're following the pace chart closely. Of course, there's other information here. Um, what you see in the pace chart in the lessons and assignments, okay? Um, so you have to make sure you're going through everything. Don't just solely focus on this. Make sure you're going through each page in the actual course. Can you work ahead? Of course you can work ahead. If you want to work accelerated, I strongly advise it, but only by one week, okay? I don't want you to do like three weeks worth of work in one week, okay? That overloads my grading and, um, and plus I feel that you're not doing your work uh, to the standards that I expect, okay? But you can work ahead. I do encourage it, especially in the first week or two when you're kind of just getting into the groove of things, you're really excited, go ahead and work one week ahead so that way if you wanna take a vacation or if you get sick, then you may be on pace maybe, you know, five, six weeks from now, okay? So it is a good um, a good practice to, um, to do. DBAs, what is a DBA? DBA is a discussion-based assessment. It's kind of like an oral quiz. Make sure you study the material prior to calling. I will be asking very specific questions. This is where a lot of teachers tend to be a little bit different. Um, I do hope to have a discussion with you, but if you're not able to answer the questions about the material that you're learning, then it's very hard for me to have a discussion with you. You are responsible for scheduling them online. I just showed you the, uh, my announcement page and the link is already on top. You will be required to call when they are due. This is important. I will not be calling you. So if you schedule one for Tuesday at 12 o'clock, at Tuesday at 12 o'clock, you better be calling me or you will be getting a zero the next time I paste um, your pace chart, okay, for that DBA. So don't, um, and don't skip them, okay, because if you go two weeks without completing it, you will be suspended from the class because what that means too is that I haven't spoken to you in probably over a month. Okay, and we have to do a monthly phone call, which I like to do during the discussion-based assessments. Okay, so I'm not, you know, having to hunt you down two or three times. In most cases, you'll need a password for the module exam, and you're only going to receive it when you call for the DBA. If you skip the DBA, you will get a zero on the module exam. And the last thing I want to make sure I mention is that I do create my schedule new every week. If you schedule this um, week for next, it will be canceled. 
Okay, so um, make sure that you're scheduling for the week we're working. Um, and I always say, you know, use Magic Mondays. I call Mondays Magic Mondays and get everything ready for the week on Mondays. If you have a DBA for that week, get it scheduled on Monday. Even if it's for like Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening, at least you have it scheduled. Um, then you can work towards that and study gives you time to study. This is what the flash appointments looks like. It's super easy, so I'm not going to really spend a lot of time on this. All the arrows is um, the different steps you need to do and it's very user friendly. You select a date, you select a service, you select a time, you put in your information and you hit confirm. Super easy. If you have difficulty, once you get there, let me know. Um, okay, there's no materials for the class um, except for AP classes. You'll have an online e-textbook. All the information is bedded in the course. Um, economics, so if you're taking economics, please consider drawing your graphs on a piece of paper and then maybe taking a picture of it and uploading it or scan it and upload the scan. It will save you a ton of time because trying to figure out online graphing can be tricky. Um, American government, if you uh, are taking that class this semester, you do have a service project. The service project will be tied to your service projects for graduation or your community service service hours. Um, there will be an email coming on this a little bit later um, in the week when you get activated. Please make sure you review the email and ask me if there's any questions that you have. Okay, um, But the directions in the actual assignment are pretty clear. Okay, I'm trying to re <laughs> go through this um, a little more quickly since I'm running out of time on my screen of mastic. Schedule your DBA the week it is due. Get it scheduled Monday and study. Zeros will be placed in all assignments behind pace, 10 points off for late assignments. You cannot go back into a previous module once you submit work and you move into a new module. You can submit um, an assignment three times. You can only take an exam or quiz one time. Um, if you submit an assignment without attachment, you will get a zero. You please only submit assignments in PDF, DOC, DOCX, or PowerPoint. Um, you will be withdrawn during the first the grace period in the first 21 days if you fall behind pace and or have a failing grade. Um, check office hours on the course announcement page if your pace chart um, uh, for your office for my office hours before calling. Do not call outside of office hours. Please leave a message if I don't answer. Do not um, type or submit work in the student comment section. Make sure you're attaching a document and make sure you follow the pace chart I send you. Do not create your own pace chart. Okay, that's extremely important. Okay, um, some teachers have them create their own pace charts. Okay, AP students. So for anybody who's not in AP, you can tune out right now. But for my AP students, this class is no joke. Um, I take it seriously and it is a lot of work. Um, get an AP review book from the bookstore. You will get an online e-text for this class, but I always re recommend that you try to get a hard copy. It's not mandatory, but it's nice to have. Reviews will start in second semester. This is really important. Um, I will get a ton of, you will get a ton of emails in the first week. Make sure you read them all. Um, AP Psychology, I'm actually not teaching that this year, so you can just ignore that. Um, I'm only teaching AP Government. Okay. Um, again, I'll be sending out more emails uh, about AP um, once you get activated in the class. So that's all I have to cover. Um, I try to do this now so that way when you call, I only have to talk to you for maybe about 10 minutes um, or less. Um, just, you know, a ma mantra that I want to make sure that I emphasize is start, st start strong, stay strong, and finish strong by always remembering why you're doing it in the first place. Okay. I hope to have a great year. Good luck in completing your online course. Um, if you need to review this one more time to answer the 10 questions for my email, um, obviously it's on YouTube, so you can go back and watch it more slowly. Um, there is a password that you're going to need to, um, to include at the end of your, um, your questions, and that password is Miami Dolphins. Hopefully they'll have a good year this year. Uh, anyways, thank you so much. Have a great day. I look forward to working with you. And see you later. See you in the welcome call. Bye.